Welcome to another Sparkle 5 tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to talk about setting up your site for multiple devices. Setting up a website should be a simple task for anyone. Setting up a site so people can view it on any device is a little more time consuming, but will ultimately be a better finished product for your viewers. Don't get me wrong, if someone wants your product, they will find their way to your site no matter what device they are using. It's just a better experience for them when the site has been thought about and makes life as easy as possible for them to find what they're looking for. There are many statistics out there to say who is using what devices to browse the internet. I myself prefer to put the desktop version together first and then add the other devices. So let's have a look in Sparkle and see how to do this. So here we are in Sparkle. I have a very simple site. It's got a header, uh, it's got some text, a few pictures, and it's got a little layout grid here as well for photographs. Let's just check out here in the devices what we've got active. And at the moment, I've only got the 960 pixel kind of PC landscape tablet size set up. Okay, so let's preview that. And you can see here, it's a very simple site. We've got a few pictures here. Now I've got my phone plugged in. And if we take a look at this on the phone, basically what happens is Sparkle replicates the desktop site, just takes everything down in size and reproduces the desktop look for you on the phone. Now I could pinch in on the phone and start reading and I can move about to the next bit of text, pinch out a little bit, but you can see how annoying this is gonna be on a more complex site. So let's go back to Sparkle. So the first thing we're going to do is go up to our devices menu, and we're gonna add a portrait smartphone, which is probably the next most common thing you're gonna add. So at the moment, it simply says it's not present. That simply means that if you're on a mobile, you will see what I just showed you on the phone, a very much smaller version of it. So you will be served from the server, the desktop version to fit the smartphone. Um, I can select not published. Now that simply means I can click on portrait smartphones and it will take me to the correct page in Sparkle for smartphone size. Now again, you can see here that Sparkle has done what it can just to put things on the page. Um, it's even very handily relayed out the grid of photographs for me perpendicular. But the text and the images have been reduced in size as before. Now, this simply means you can work on this page, but even when you publish the site, it's not going to be published. The next option is the custom layout. And the fourth option is automatically scaled. Now automatically scaled will simply do the best it can for the smartphone. So it will take a look at the desktop and it will alter what it can for the smartphone. And in fact, if we go to the smartphone setting now, uh, which is here, you can see that it's still laid out as it was on the desktop here, but actually it's taken the grid of four pictures and laid them out as big as you can on the mobile screen. So back in Sparkle, if we go back to devices and go back to the custom layout, which I said I'd come back to, this gives us the opportunity to click on the portrait smartphones and everything from here on in is adjustable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my layout grid all the way down. Here's a picture that I had at the bottom of the page just to give me some scrolling, but I can delete that for a minute. And I'm going to move the things I want to move out of the way. And I'm gonna start reorganizing. Now, if I quickly just go back to the PC size, you can see here that I've got some styles set up so I've got body text, I've got a bold text, and I've got a title. Now, I've set up some styling for the text here. So on this first one, I've set up a title. On the subtitles, I've labeled it subtitle. 
and on the body text we've got body now if I click on these I've got more presets than I actually need so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the bold just here and I'm going to delete that because I don't need it and I don't need the italic one either let's just go back to that so I'm left with my three body styles let's just put that back to subtitle these text styles are independent on each device because as Sparkle downsizes everything for the mobile, it may not be big enough for the mobile screen. So let's go take a look back at the screen that we started manipulating. And you can see here, I may want a slightly different depth to the picture. And you know what? That title can be bigger. But now I'm worried if I, if I change the size of it, which is 17, in fact, we'll, we'll quickly go back to the PC and we'll say, that's 53 point. And then we'll go back to the mobile size, which is 17. I'm going to increase that maybe to 21 point. And you can see here that I've now got an asterisk next to the word title. And I want to apply those changes. But it won't apply the change to any other device. You can still see here I'm 53 points. So this is a great way of organizing text accurately and quickly in your device sections. So here you can see it's downsized your passport to a very small size. So I'm going to, that's in fact six point, which is unreadable. So I'm going to put that to perhaps uh, 15 point. And you can see here now that that subtitle has an asterisk next to it. So I'm going to apply those changes and you can see this title has now changed to the correct size. The body text is also too small. Um, and I'm going to put that at, uh, let's say 13 points. And I want that text to stretch across the screen. We'll align that and we'll just get all the text out. We can move that. We can put the picture in below this now. And this one can be a bit bigger. We'll put that there. We'll move this down a bit. So you can see I'm customizing my layout. And let's just move this down a little bit more. And then we'll have perhaps some more text. Now, let's click on this body text here and apply the changes. That then gives me my body text throughout the document correctly. And we will just stretch this text out. And we'll put this picture in underneath. And I might need some more space down here. And I'll just stretch this out, this layout grid. Again, I'm stretching it on this document, but it has no effect on the other device. So if we go back to the other device, we're still laid out in exactly the same manner. So it's a completely customized look for the smartphone. Now if we go over to the smartphone, we can now see this is a much more readable document. And that just took a minute to lay that out on my smartphone. But look at the difference in the ability to see the website properly. So making use of text styles is not critical, but it can really speed up the progression that you make on, on a different device. Just by assigning text styles, you can work a lot quicker. One of the things you can do when designing for multiple devices is use layout blocks. These can help you stay really ordered and organized when you're designing your website. Let's take a look at what I mean. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to organize some of these sections um, into layout blocks. So I'm going to take this first your passport section and pictures 
and I'm going to put that in a layout block. And then I'm going to take the second section, your boarding pass and its picture in a separate block. And then I'll, sit, I'll show you how you can easily manipulate the site, keeping everything really organized. So let's have a look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these three items that I want inside the block and I'm going to cut them. And then I'm going to add a layout block into my design. We'll leave it blue for a minute so we can see what we're doing. And I'll stretch that down to here. And whilst it's selected, I shall press paste and in come my three items in exactly the same place they were. And you can see here I have my layout block. Now I'm going to do exactly the same thing for these items here into a separate layout block. I'm going to select them, cut them. I'm going to add another layout block and I'm going to stretch that down a little bit and paste. And you can see those are in exactly the same place as well. And then I can just adjust my layout block as I want to. Now let's make the layout blocks transparent because we don't really want them blue. And you can see here now I can click on each layout block. So you can see here now that I have a layout block for the top section, a layout block for the middle section, and then we have the layout grid for the photos. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to take the top section and you can see what's in the top section by looking at the layout block here. And we can just call that top block. And we can make that middle block in the layers palette. And if I click on my top block, I can see that I've got all my items, the passport image, the sunset image and the text. But I want a bit more text, so I need to create a bit more space. And I can do this by stretching the block down. And as I do that, it will push everything else behind it down. And now I can uh, literally just put in another block of text. And we'll call that one My Passport. And you can see that everything moved down in sync. It stayed in the same place, but it's allowed me to keep that really ordered and really organized. And again, if I want to take it out, I can just delete it and close the block up a little bit and it will shift the rest of the page up with it. I can also swap the blocks around into different places. So if I want the second block first, I can do that by doing that and it will shift the first block down automatically to align itself. It's a very handy way of utilizing good design and keeping yourself really organized, really particularly useful when you're doing multiple devices. Don't forget, I have a device triangle warning light here because I need to go into my uh, desktop version and reorganize everything here because they're separate layouts. So I need to do that. But once I've done, the light will go out and we should be good. So that's using layout blocks. So Sparkle gives you different uh, size desktops. You've got the ultra wide, you've got the standard, and you've got kind of PCs and landscape tablets. You can also switch on the portrait tablets, landscape smartphones, and portrait smartphones. Now, if I show you in the settings under miscellaneous here, You've got a little button which says mobile auto scaling. Now, if this is clicked on, because you've got so many different size mobile phones, Sparkle will ensure that the layout for each of those sizes is auto scaled to those popular smartphone resolutions. It does a lot of the backbone work for you. And once again, synchronized text attributes across devices simply means that it will put your styles across all the sizes, but those styles will be independent per device. Size is per device. So worth keeping that one on. Now, if I switch on the pop up when layout needs to be reviewed button, if I'm changing a layout on one device, I'll get a yellow triangle to say that other devices need looking at. Uh, you may have some problems. As I said at the beginning of the video, I tend to I tend to start, so let's switch these off for a minute. I tend to start with my one device 
Usually it's the, it's the 1200 pixel, but today I'm doing the 960. Uh, I complete the website as far as I can, or once the client has given me the go ahead, I'll then start reformatting for other devices and making sure it all works for those other devices. So I hope you've understood a little bit more about different size devices. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.